Hey guys, we are just about to start up the webinar. We will just wait another minute for people to join in. Uh, let me just get this arranged because today we're going to have a, um, we're actually going to have a um, bit of a different setup with a, uh, uh, with a PowerPoint presentation. So we'll see here. Um, here we go. So guys, welcome to today's webinar. I'm gonna close down my Skype here uh, so we do not get disturbed. Uh, today's webinar is going to be a special topic uh, on um, liquidity. We're gonna talk about liquidity only. Um, so it's a specialized training. Uh, tomorrow we're doing another training, which is uh, earners, how to make money from the platform, which is an exciting one before the hangout on Friday. So guys, I will share a uh, PowerPoint with you here in a second. And here we go. <coughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to, and I, I can see that you could. We actually see we actually have a recording here. Actually, remove. <coughs> I apologize about this little technical glitch. Just please bear with me for a second. <coughs> of course, as always, <coughs> I lose my voice and start coughing as well. Okay, here we go. We are on again. Share screen, here we go, and we're on. So guys, um, as I said, today's uh, webinar is uh, specialized on liquidity. Uh, this is a training webinar. Uh, obviously, liquidity is something that is very central in everything we are doing, and uh, we have been discussing this on webinars in the last few weeks. Um, so <clears throat> what is liquidity really? Well, liquidity obviously means the ability of changing anything into something else. So you could say back in uh, the old ages, um, you would say that liquidity was, uh, you know, people were trading, say, vegetables for metal for something else and that is one form of liquidity that means that and liquidity is actually a measurement of the rate how fast you can exchange something so in our world in our modern world uh liquidity is actually more about um say how fast can you exchange one asset one token for something else for a, a uh, for um a cryptocurrency or for fiat currency. <clears throat> that is really what is interesting in this context as well. Um, oh, let me see here. I'm actually getting a, uh, apologies here, message. There we go. Sorry, I thought we had lost some. So, and this is very centric in everything we do because obviously you guys are getting a lot of assets and we all want to buy something fun, use our money, pay our bills, and um, <clears throat> I feel that it's very important to educate everybody on what we do, how we do it, so you understand the tools that we provide. Now, in this context, you can talk about currencies versus assets. <clears throat> so a currency is, let's say, a euro or a Bitcoin is something that you can pay with immediately. Uh, and you have different uh, liquidity within currencies as well. I mean, if you want to exchange a euro for a US dollar, you can exchange 10 billion in a second if you want to, because it is so liquid, there's such a high demand. Go to Bitcoin, you can still, still sell huge volumes, but maybe not as big volumes. And once you do, you start pushing the price down because uh, markets are all about price and demand. And then you have, you know, you, you have to build the liquidity, <clears throat> whereas assets are things like a house, a boat, a plane, a car, um, anything, you know, this coffee mug is an asset, you know, maybe not many people want to buy it, but you could always sell it at one price. So any asset obviously is 
liquid or most assets are liquid up to a certain point. And um, <clears throat> this is where you get, get into this conversation or discussion of two different things. One is wealth and one is cash flow. So we all need to pay our bills, buy milk, pay the kids school fees, all of that. We need day-to-day -day money. Every second you breathe, you cost money. Whether you <laughs> like it or not, that, that's the truth. <clears throat> so all of us need cash flow. We might not need much, or we might need much, but we do need cash flow. On the other hand, as we talk about wealth uh, and assets, you can be asset rich, but not have any cash flow. So I'll give you an example. At one point, 10 years ago, I, I had uh, huge assets in real estate, but I couldn't sell them in a day, which meant that that it, it you know, I, I was actually rich on paper, but I couldn't pay the bills. So very often, especially businesses end up in this situation. Let's say, again, I'm manufacturing cups. We say that these sell at two, 10 euros each. So I, I've actually manufactured a shitload of these and I have them in a warehouse. Now they are maybe worth 10 million euros being sold in a store. But I have to agree with the store to take them. I have to drive them to a store. The store has to put them on the shelves. Clients have to come in, have to buy them, pay it off, send us money and so on. And this makes it very, very, um, well, a, a strong asset because I know this is going to turn into money, but it's not a liquid asset. It's not going to turn into money tomorrow. And I have to pay my bills tomorrow. So that is how a business can end up in, in, in a cash flow uh, problem or squeeze. And so you always have to balance wealth and uh, cash flow, your assets. In this case, and in the case we are working with, many of us have a lot of assets. We're asset rich, but we need to find ways of liquidating those and speed up that process because we want cash. This is what today's webinar is about. Uh, and on that context, and you will understand as we go through this, um, I want to reiterate because there's been a lot of misunderstandings that Many people understand that we, Dragon, we are working together with Pernum, that we provide an instant exchange for YAM into hard currency like US dollars or euros. We do not. If we have a buyer, then we can facilitate that through the sales of YAM, or sorry, liquid. Uh, and I will show you many ways of actually generating real cash. But it is not like you can deposit a million YAM and boom, do an instant exchange into cash. We have never provided that. And it's very important to understand. Once you understand this and how to work with the tools, you will also see a way, which is the good thing. And we are a toolbox. We provide you with a whole range of tools to make cash from the wealth that you have aggregated in, in uh, the form of YAM and other assets. So you need to understand how to use these tools. And you, in order to understand the tools, you need to understand your assets. What are you actually holding? Uh, and these are some of the, the, the concepts we need to talk about. So on, on the note of liquidity, there's something called orderly market conditions, which means that how do you approach a market? <clears throat> and the market has to do with how, you know, again, a market is supply and demand. It is capitalism in its cleanest form. How many people want to buy an asset? How many want to sell them? Now, Granted, many of the buyers might not have found the market and some of the sellers might not have found the market. So the more people you have in there, the more true is the pricing. And typically when you have something where you have, in, in the case of YAM, uh, or uh, uh, yeah, YAM is actually a good example. People have obviously uh, become very rich in terms of assets, uh, but it does take time to liquidate. And if you open up trading possibilities like we have done, sometimes you have way too many sellers rushing into the market, putting pressure on it. And the thing is this, and I have been trying to educate people for years when it comes to this with shares. The funny thing is they only hurt themselves. So people keep pushing the price down because they think by lowering it, more people will buy. But it's wrong, completely wrong. People will not buy. Because people buying a share or a currency or anything, why do they buy it? They buy it because they want to see it appreciate. 
Do you think they will buy if they see a solid roof of 10 million sitting there preventing the price to go up? They will not. If they see a little bit, they can buy and push the price and make it move and drive the quick, then they will buy. And the problem in doing this is that it is so hard to keep everybody disciplined because somebody will always dump. You know, somebody will say, oh, it's just me. It's not just you. And this is a recurring problem in any kind of liquidity launch. And don't worry, I have a solution to the problem. But this is a, a, a very important insight in pricing strategy because people get it wrong. And the thing is this, um, there is obviously a very unscientific approach to pricing an illiquid asset. And it is really desperation slash need versus price and uh, attraction. So obviously at any point, something will have you will be able to liquidate something faster. For instance, let's take my coffee cup again. No, let's take my phone. My phone is worth whatever it is. And then, you know, I could run out into the street here and I could um, I could um, go around and offer my neighbors to buy my phone. Well, eventually, first of all, they probably think I'm crazy. By one point, somebody will pay something for it, whether it is five euros, 10 euros, 100 euros, or 200 euros. But there is a point. And that also obviously has to do with the degree of desperation. And this ties back into being asset rich. Obviously, if you sit on a ton of assets like real estate or so, well, you could always sell it out very, very quickly. But if you know that you will get a certain price over time, if you know there is a use, why then actually just give value away? That is a constant problem and a constant battle uh, because simply it it um, it um, makes it hard for people and um, and this is again a very important insight into how do we price things and how do we work with the market here now we're not only going to talk about the market but this is a very important basis because again people have had the misconception that it's an instant exchange and it is not so in order to understand this and understand the tools you need to understand the assets that you're working with so Start with YEM, for instance, uh, your everyday money. It is a currency. It behaves like a currency slash commodity uh, where you can store a value. And um, in, in, a, in a case of a, a currency, what you need to look at is number of use cases. So as you know, I've been talking about building new use cases. That means that being able to use YEM to pay for, for instance, our trading packages, for for shares, we're working on a number of things, including the point of sales model, where people will be able to use this in retail stores. So that is that is the YEM, YEM part. So YEM is a currency. And, and again, very important to understand. You need to understand how to explain this too to the outside world. Secondly, uh, you have liquid as another example. And liquid, what is liquid? And there, there's not a super clear understanding uh, on, on everybody's part. And liquid is a dividend and a utility token. So holding liquid gives you dividends. That means that we pay you profits. Today, today Wednesday, we are going to pay out shares in P2000 for those holding liquid for free. These shares will become liquid. You will be able to sell them or hold them and get a dividend and a profit from them. So liquid is a, a, a token that pays and pays and pays, but it can also be used to take positions in our trading products. Again, very un, uh, important to understand where this sits. And you have another asset, you have the UNT, Unicorn Network Token, which is a share token representing a share in the company. Uh, there's a different story about that. The company is doing a reverse takeover and, and, and this is going to be married together with the token. So there you have a different story, which is the story of a share. It's a story of a, a, a future dividend and a liquidity in the, the public market. <clears throat> you move on to another, and I'm giving you examples. You understand how to view your assets. Another is the ICSI gold token, which is actually backed by the, the rights to this gold. Um, again, 
this is a very interesting uh, conversation on liquidity because as this is tied to this gold uh, mining um, operation, at one point there will be gold mined and paid out. So while it is gold, it is not liquid like gold. So it's a very interesting example in the conversation about liquidity. So what can you do? Well, first of all, be, be an active ambassador. As we uh, now start pushing more actively for the exchange, for the outside world, for social media, be, be an active ambassador of these assets. We are going to launch a point system where you get rewarded also for, for inviting people and for, for, for um, uh, promoting the news that are being put out. And use, as we also start putting up more and more material on these things, use that. Invite people from the outside to come into the in, into the uh, into the uh, environment as well, uh, and um, so so that's very important. As you understand the assets, it's easier for you to understand what you can do with the assets. Now, how do we build liquidity in the market? How do we grow the liquidity? There's only one thing, way, hard work. Um, many tools. One is you invite new audience. What I mean is invite people. Any marketplace is contingent on people being there. If there's nobody there, picture a store, normal shop, there's one person there. Well, then it is only that person. There's not much exchange happening. With 10 people, chances are that something else happens and so on. So it's a numbers game. It's a very tough numbers game that takes time. Uh, and we are providing different tools to invite new audience. We also do active marketing. Uh, we are doing mailings and getting this out. But I will come to the more important things. And one is the points-based uh, model, where you will get points for inviting people to activate them. And they will not actually require anybody to spend any money, but actually just join, which is good, because then you have more people to talk to. And also listing new business every time we list a new company like p2000 they bring friends and family in they already have shareholders we have another company lined up to list they have 1300 shareholders that's 1300 new people we can bring into the exchange who will end up with maybe buying something else and as we launched the ability for you guys members to list using liquid new uh, projects locally that will also attract a big crowd as well. So this is how you actually gradually build up that liquidity. And again, use the stuff you have. Now, how do you protect the market from doing the crazy dumpings and all that we talked about? Well, sadly, there is not a patent fix. Uh, not at all, actually. What you can do, however, is you can put in a number of tools. One is that you can put some price limitations on it. We are going to put the limit on the, the price on uh, liquid, actually. I've already requested it from the team. It means that you cannot place an order under a certain price. However, again, if you have 10 million for sales at one price, people will be very reluctant to buy because they know they can't push the price up. So why would they buy it? unless they use it to use in our trading products. So you need to give the asset a chance. So price limitations is one thing we can work with. Another thing is market making algos. Basically part of every placement being done goes into trading. The profit from the trading is buying blindly in the market. This is a very attractive model once it reaches critical mass. It basically means that every share will be buying itself or token will be buying itself over time. This takes time, it appreciates, appreciates, and then it takes off exponentially. So these are mechanics that are coming in behind the market. And at this point also, we're looking at actually resetting the trade um, now and then to flush the queue and restart because orders need to expire. This means people can look fresh at what dividends are coming out, what is the value of the assets. This is also something that helps the market. So now to, to, to a very core issue in what you came for, and that is how do you liquidate? How do you actually do this at this stage? And what are the tools we're providing? Well, number one, in market trading on the World Equity Expo and other markets, depending on which asset you have, is one way. Like we have 
just discussed. Secondly, you are receiving shared dividends from liquid, which means you're getting something that is liquid that you can sell. That is a second way that you actually generate money. Okay? Then as you can see, a group of three staking products, which is the core fastest way here. We have the power staking, the self staking and long staking. Basically they are products which allow you to place half of liquid that you can buy with YAM and half in other currency, US dollars, for instance, and you generate a profit. In the case of power staking, every Friday it generates a cash profit for you, which means that you're actually making a cash profit from your tokens as well as from your cash. Uh, you also, uh, for the self staking, it's a, uh, now finally alive. Uh, we will be showing this tomorrow. Um, you can now actually stake any object that you want to, like financing a house, a property, or a car, or whatever. That is the self-staking. And then we are going to launch this week the long staking, which means that you can put in a pool of YAM that will basically liquidate over a longer period of time, but you will be guaranteed that. So these are the ways you can liquidate. And these are tools against the, that we give you. And then the final bit that is coming but hasn't been listed is your own ability of listing projects. Because when we do this, we are going to charge you in liquid, which means that you can go to a company and say, hi, I can provide you with this service. You can buy the liquids from me. Okay. So remember that, for instance, in the power staking, you can take a package, a 25,000 package or whatever, and since you can pay half with YAM or Liquid, you can actually sell that at a discount to somebody. And by doing that, you can actually liquidate your Liquid for cash. So these are some of the tools that you can work with. Um, and so do think about those. And the power staking is working like clockwork. It's giving you a weekly cash payout, very simple. So the combination of all these is a fantastic toolbox that allows you guys to, to liquidate in an orderly fashion and protecting the asset. That was all for me for today. Uh, I am not going to do a Q&A today because we are actually going to uh, do all of that on Friday. Uh, we are ramping up support just, you know, I know you have some more uh, support questions, uh, but this is a training. Tomorrow, two o'clock, same time, we're gonna have an earnest webinar same theme, but on how to actually make cash on commissions if you want to work with us. And then on Friday, we have the weekly hangout. We're going to address some of the ongoing issues and um, round off the week. So thanks, everybody, for being here today. Have a uh, lovely day. And um, see if I can close this down. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs>